All right, hands on challenge time for static resources on a Visual Force page. Use a static resource to display an image on a Visual Force page. Okay, this should be pretty straightforward. So I'm going to go up and launch my hands on orgs there. Pop up my developer beginner trailhead playground. And let's flip back here <clears throat> all the way to the challenge. So the page must be named show image. Let's create that for now. Go back here, gear icon, and then developer console. And I'm going to close this previous videos pages, make a new one. Visual Force page show image. Okay, we got that done. I'm going to save that. What's next? This file, so we need to download this, must be uploaded as a static resource named VF image task. So I'm going to download this. It's downloaded to my downloads folder. So when you download this, you can choose where to download it from. If not, your browser will most likely put it in your downloads folder. Or you can choose by right clicking, save link as, and then choose your folder, all right? So this will be on your local computer. So we are going to create a new static resource page. I'm gonna copy the name of it, go back here, and then set up. Oops, what did I do there? Gear icon, set up. <clears throat> and static resource. Make a new one. It's called VM image test. I'm going to choose my file, which is my downloads folder, this one, and make it public. Remember to make it public and save. So it's a zip file, but then we can refer to the files inside it. Like the example, which we get, we did not get to do because the jQuery mobile was above five megabytes, but now we get to do it. So the page must have a visual force Apex image tag that displays kitten1.jpg from the cat's directory of the static resource. All right. So now I'm going to scroll up here and see the syntax of an Apex image with, with a resource there. I'm going to copy that. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back here like that. If I uh, change this, say name cat, this is not required, but I'm just gonna make it cat. And the resource name we have was here, this one, right? VF image test. So you you are all for resource VF image test like that. And then it's gonna be cats slash kitten one dot jpeg is it jpeg or png let's see here kitten one dot jpeg right cats directory all right let's give it a try if i flip back to my console and hit preview Woo! nice cat it is working so that's pretty much it that's all that is to it so if i go flip back here it's basically, I'm just going to clean this up. It's going to be like that, boom, right? So Apex image, you can um, set the alt properties to cat, title to cat. The URL is URL for resource dot the static resource um, name. And then you can specify the path there, right? 
the path to the file you want to pull and that's it so i'm going to save that and get my challenge points and i'll see you on the next video i'm going to get my challenge points the next one is create and use custom controllers this is fun all right we're gonna spend some time playing around in here and i will see you on the next video bada bing and bada boom hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the salesforce app exchange and do yourself a favor like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom